Hello, everyone. This is Mark Chen from Hymex. Today, I want to introduce our ultra low power, always on smart sensing solution for tiny ML ecosystem. There are more and more always on sensing applications need always watching, always listening, and always monitoring at the very age devices to keep privacy, low latency, and a low power consumption. However, there are three major challenges for developers. The first is low energy consumption, because most of these age devices are powered by battery and they need more than several months battery life. The second one is real time performance. That means low latency and the need to be adjusted by high computing performance. The third one is under model deployment. HiMax provides hardware, software, and a common AI framework to help developers to overcome these challenges. In hardware side, we provide ultra low power always on image sensor and ultra low power AI processor to reduce power consumption, but still keep high performance when needed. In software side, we work with our DSP partner Synapsis to provide open source machine learning inference library to optimize an inference performance. We collaborate with TensorFlow Lite team closely to make TensorFlow Lite for microcontrollers as our building AI framework to make the model deployment easier and faster. Let me show you how our solution works in following pages. Our ultra low power AI processor, W1 Plus, with excellent power performance in always on region applications, and also support different sensor interfaces to achieve voice recognition with microphone and the vibration detection with a accelerometer. With unique and patent multi layer power management and fast wake up with features, we can capture sensor data and detect the event when CPU is totally shut down. When event is detected, we can wake up CPU instantly and running the inference up to 400 megahertz to complete the task as soon as possible, then go back to sleep mode to reduce average power consumption. Security is also one key feature. W1 Plus can achieve security boot OTA TOS with hardware engine to save power and reduce wake up time as well. To provide total solution for ultra low power region application, there are two always on sensors are available with different resolution. The power consumption is only a few milliwatts at 30 frames per second. We work closely with TensorFlow Live team to integrate this open source machine learning framework with our software tool chain seamlessly to make an model deployment easier and faster. There are retrainable open source examples on GitHub to let developers to build their own prototyping quickly. To optimize an model inference performance, we applied Embark open source machine learning inference library to link with TensorFlow like reference kernel. These APIs can support 2D convolution, depth-wise 2D convolution, and automatic model layer slicing and the data movement. The total event cycle number can be reduced up to 50% through this software kernel optimization. Here is our development board that can be available online on SparkFun now. In addition to our ultra low power VGA sensor and AI processor W1 Plus, there are two microphones and a three axis accelerometer are built on board as well. All region voice gesture examples can be run on this platform with complete open source tool chain and framework. This page shows average power consumption is less than 2.5 milliwatts including image sensor and AI processor when running person detection example. This amazing result is benefit from hardware, software, and the tool chain optimization and integration. This demo shows we can retrain person detection model to add bounding box and person tracking functions easily with good accuracy. Thanks for your watching. Please check our website for more information. On the way to the future.
AI sensors bring more convenience to people's lives by deploying motion sensing, human presence detection, people counting, face detection, speech recognition, as well as others. HiMax Ultra Low Power Edge AI platform was specifically designed for fulfilling the needs of local inference. Facilitated by Ultra Low Power Always On Image Sensor and Ultra Low Power AI Processor with Google TensorFlow Lite for microcontrollers framework, our platform has been proven to make AI algorithm development easier than ever. As an endpoint AI platform, it can be always watching, always sensing, and always listening with on-device event recognition while keeping low power consumption, better privacy protection, and less bandwidth usage. For instance, for the application of access control, we aim to improve the accuracy of recognizing body shapes and identify whether a person is approaching the camera. Given the case, the pre-recording function acts to provide the user with the complete information of intruder's movement before the police are alerted, improving home security with the use of this all-round total solution. As for the endpoint AI applied to TV, one instance is that the TV can be set to display a painting when it detects someone is facing towards it. Whenever a person gets close to the TV or talks next to it, it will be awakened. When a specific family member is recognized, the TV will in turn employ the playlist accordingly. This member is allowed to control the volume by using his voice commands. And at last, the TV will be automatically turned off when the person is away. In the case of air conditioning, when someone is detected entering the room, the speech controller as well as the air conditioner will be turned on, allowing the person to change the setting of temperature, wind speed, on and off by voice commands. Also, the AI-based air conditioner automatically adjusts the ambient temperature when the sensor detects more people in the field. And at last, the air conditioner will switch itself off when people leave. All the forementioned can be carried out by HiMax Ultra Low Power Edge AI platform in the form of a total solution applicable to a wide range. HiMax WE1 Plus, coupled with HiMax AOS image sensors, provides ultra low power and high performance for IoT endpoint AI applications. Taking TensorFlow Lite person detection as an example, the average one frame per second power consumption is less than 2.5 milliwatts, and the max inference is 25 frames per second. TensorFlow Lite for microcontrollers is an easy to develop framework and comes with several application examples. WE1 Plus Development Board is a certified hardware device providing Embark MLI optimized kernels and accessible device drivers in GitHub. Examples including Hello World, MicroSpeech, Magic Wand, and Person Detection have been carefully tested and are all free to download. HiMax collaborates with Microsoft to create always-on Smart Sensing Edge AIoT solution in secured Azure IoT Cloud. This solution enables Edge devices' capabilities of ultra-long battery life, flexible Edge AI computation, highly secured boot, OTA, data transfer, low bandwidth metadata through LP1, captured image, voice, ambient sensors, raw data, and Edge-detected metadata are uploaded to cloud storage in a highly secured way. These big data can be analyzed by powerful Azure tools and later applied to a wide range of applications, from smart retail transactions, convert rate KPI analysis, people traffic flow, rescue devices for positioning people and objects by heat map, to building a smart factory and a smart city. HiMax always on smart sensing solutions highly integrate industry-leading technologies, including Microsoft Azure IoT Cloud and Google Tiny ML AI Framework to fast enable your products to be successfully realized in the fields of logistics, retail, agriculture, factory, and city in a smarter way.
um, Mark, I, I have a one, you know, like uh, building, building the sensor into an appliance. Uh, is it likely that people would update the, um, the network in the device in the field? I mean, if, if you had a better algorithm for detecting a, a person, would you rev it in the field or would it just get shipped with a fixed neural network? Yes, this is a very good question. Actually, our uh, some customer request request us to provide this kind of function uh, to through the OTA. That means that after uh, this, uh, the, our device uh, had been installed in in customer side, and we can still update the model or uh, as well the the weight, weighted uh, number to 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 update the algorithm uh, through the, the Wi-Fi or any. SOC to connect to the cloud and update the model and also the algorithm. So that's a real case we are doing now. So it's doable. And uh, uh, not only we can update the, the model and we can also update with the the, the encrypt the, the, the data that we, because we have an encrypted engine, how we engine inside our chip. So we can uh, do this uh, in very safe way. Thank you. Hey, hey, Mark, I have another uh, question on the Azure Sphere support. Is that something that um, is a software only solution or is there additional hardware required in order to have that support? Uh, excuse me, can you, can you ask again what kind of a function you, you mean? Yeah, in order to um, integrate with Azure Sphere, okay. the Microsoft Azure Sphere, is that, um, is that purely a software solution or is there additional hardware in your microcontroller to enable actually, that integration? Yes, actually, Sphere is a, a hardware, that means the hardware uh, security function from Microsoft. So, so that uh, the Sphere, uh, we just uh, connect to the Azure Sphere through the uh, Sun ASIC from Microsoft work with the uh, MTK. They have uh, some uh, hardware secure engine inside the MTK uh, chip. So we just uh, connect to the cloud through the MTK chip. Uh, we have no this kind of a hardware secure engine for, for the Sphere. But uh, actually we just uh, passed the Microsoft uh, another new new uh, cloud uh, the, the, the certification that called the uh, PMP certification. We can still connect to the Microsoft the cloud uh, to pass their certification and, uh, and uh, directly without uh, this kind of hardware uh, engine. So this is a new uh, standard to connect to Microsoft the Cloud. Got it, thanks Mark. Okay. Uh, again, just a quick uh, shout out to our sponsors. Bear with me for one minute. We have different categories. We have executive sponsors. First one being ARM. Then we have Qualcomm. We have Samsung, Platinum Sponsors, Ada Compute, Lattice Semiconductor, Gold Sponsors, Brainchip, Babel Labs, DSP Group, Edge Impulse, Emza, Gray Matter Labs, Green Waves, Hymax, Imagimob, Latent AI, Maxim Integrated, Quixo, Reality AI, Sensei ML, 
Silicon Labs, Sentient, Google TensorFlow, Xmos, and lastly, silver sponsors, Edge Cortex, Hachi, and Synsets.